Pow, what's up everybody? So today in this video, I'm gonna be taking you guys through how to glaze with your paintings. Today I'm gonna to be using oil. This also works the same for acrylics, but you'll just need an acrylic medium like matte medium or gloss medium. However, with this, we're gonna be using stand oil mixed with Gamsol. You can also use liquid. The only thing different is that you don't wanna use Gamsol with your liquid. You could just use straight liquid just make sure that you're not using more paint than medium. So I'm gonna be taking you guys through this. Before I start this tutorial, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, help me grow this channel to where it needs to be. Now let's get straight to it. So let's get into what I'll be using. Now for the glaze, I'll be using stand oil and I'll be mixing it with a bit of Gamsol just to thin it out a tiny bit. You still wanna follow the fat over lean rule and this being your very last layer, you still want it to be reasonably thick, which is why I use stand oil, because it's, it's pretty thick as is. Now, the painting was originally done in, well, the medium that I used was liquid. You can also use liquid to glaze. I just like using the stand oil over the liquid. Now, for some paintings, I've used just the straight stand oil mixed with the paint and applied my glaze. But I'm going to try something a bit different. This also works fine too. Just add a bit of stand oil, add a bit more. And then I'm just going to add a dash of the Gamsol. Yep, just a small dash. And then next we're going to mix it. So here I have my mix and I'm just gonna pour it out right here from my glaze. All right, let's go ahead and talk about these paints that I'm gonna be using for the glaze and the difference. Now this is a cadmium orange hue. Now with the hue, it, it's pretty much transparent and transparent paints work best for glazes versus opaques. I have used opaques and I will be using it in this demonstration, but the best results that I've got have been with the transparents. And this is quinacridone red. Same thing if we look here. Can we see it? Transparent. Now, burnt sienna. Burnt sienna is semi-transparent. So it's a mix between that opaque and transparent. Then we got the cadmium yellow medium, and this is opaque. So what I'm gonna also test with this glazing demonstration is, I'm gonna see if I glaze these two colors into each other, if I can produce an orange. One thing that I should also know too is that I'm using a golden tacklon brush. This is a softer bristle. Now, typically when I do my glazes, I like to use the softer bristles because it just assures that everything goes on smoothly. Now with this painting, we're going to focus on the face. We're going to be adding some color to the skin tone and really bright things up and then give it some depth. So what I'm actually going to do is start off with that experiment that I was talking about, glazing the two colors into each other and creating a new color. So I'm going to start with the quinacridone red. Now see what I do is, is I just take a bit of, well you could take a bit of the color, just a small bit on the brush, and then you get it in your glaze there. I'm just going over it very softly. And you can already see it start to change a bit there. Now keep in mind too, if you put too much, you can always grab a piece of paper towel or cloth or something and just wipe off the area you think is too much on there. All right, so now let's add our yellow glaze and see if we can get an orange in between. Same process with the yellow in terms of how we get it on our brush. I'm just gonna start here. Now see what I said about the opaque is that it's very strong when you're doing your glazes. 
That's why it's best to do it with a transparent or a semi-transparent. So let's mix it into our red now. We're getting a bit of orange. There we go. We're getting an orange in between there. Now this is too much for me. It's way too opaque, so I'll be wiping off some of that. But as you can see right here where the red was and where the yellow goes into it, we have a bit of orange. So you can definitely mix colors when you're doing your glazes. That looks pretty good. Now let's go ahead and test out our cadmium orange hue, which is also a transparent color. So you see it goes on a lot more lighter than the cadmium yellow, which was opaque. The last part of glazing on the face, we're gonna be putting on burnt sienna now. Now this is a semi-transparent, so let's see how it goes on. As you can see, it's not too opaque and it's not too transparent because you can see some of the values underneath. So it's just in the middle of both of them. And also the, the neck is already pretty brown and burnt sienna kind of has like a red hue to it. So remember we put our Kodakodone red, so it also is gonna blend transition into that color all right so as you can see we did our glaze on the face a lot more color a lot more vibrancy in the face if we compare it to the skin tone of the arm you can see the arm looks a bit more flat and the face looks very vibrant very alive so what I'm actually gonna do now is I'm gonna work on the arm throw this thing in the hyperlapse and then we're gonna come back and see the full thing So there you have it guys, glazing with oil paints made easy. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch y'all in the next one, peace.